So you have successfully connected your ReadyNAS to your network. The next step is to set up your ReadyNAS with ReadyCloud, the service that connects your devices to your ReadyNAS. I'm Willie with Neck Your Business. You're watching The Business Break. All right, I got a brand new ReadyNAS 626X hooked up to my network. Let's set it up with ReadyCloud. Open your web browser and go to readycloud.netgear.com. Now click Start under Set Up a New Ready NAS. Before we start, let's go through the Learn More link here so we can get a better idea of the capabilities. Ready NAS is your central storage device, while Ready Cloud is the bridge to your wireless devices. There are a lot of convenient ways to back up your data automatic backups for PCs, multi user time machine backup for Macs, and smartphone photo backups. Sync PCs with ReadyNAS, so if someone adds a file to the sync folder in the ReadyNAS, all other PCs can access the file. This is the ultimate collaboration tool. Keep your media data in the ReadyNAS and stream videos and music with the help of apps such as iTunes and Plex. Access your files from anywhere with the ReadyCloud app. You can download it for your laptop and also your smartphone. Share any file with anybody using a web link. People don't need to be connected to your network if you want to share your data. Using this ReadyNAS properly, you can be confident that your data is safe and secure with ReadyNAS's five levels of protection. All right, let's do this. Click Discover. As you can see, there are many network attached storage devices in my network. Your page may look a lot different. In order for me to locate my new ReadyNAS, I have to match the name, model, and serial number. I found it, so let's click Setup on the right. We'll do the default setup with ReadyCloud. Now create your own account. I have my existing account, so I will sign in. You can name your ReadyNAS whatever you like, and set the time zone as well. The time will be important for timing automatic backups. All right, looks like we finished the setup, and now to complete, we have to press the Backup or OK button on the front of the NAS. So let's do that. Ready NAS secured. Click Next. All right, we're all set, and there's a reminder that there are three ways to use Ready Cloud: through the web portal, on the mobile app with your smartphone, or the app on a computer. Now we're all set, and I am accessing my Ready NAS through the Ready Cloud web portal. Let's test it out. I'm going to put my business break folder from my PC onto the video folder in my ReadyNAS. And there you go, it works. If you need help with the actual physical setup of the ReadyNAS, I'll link a video that could provide some information. And I'll also link a video that explains the handy dandy feature of Snapshot, which can protect you from things such as ransomware. Thank you for joining me on this business break. I hope that was entertaining and or educational. If you have anything to say or ask, feel free to send a message or leave a comment. Until next time.